Hi, Assalamualaikum. With me again, Teacher Rin. Today, we will learn Mathematics Form 3, Chapter 1, Indices. 1.2, Law of Indices. And this video is Part 2 of the Law, where we will learn about the division of numbers in index form. In previous video, I have told you about the law of indices that we need to learn. So, we have also reviewed about multiplication of index number. In this video, we will continue to the next law of indices, which is division of index numbers. Here you can see, this is the law of division of numbers in index form. Let us look at some example. Simplify each of the following. 5 to the power of 4 divide by 5 to the power of 2. To answer this, actually, you need to do like this. 5 times 5 times 5 times 5. And then we divide by 5 times 5. Right. So if we simplify each other, we just leave it as 5 to the power of 2. So, by using the law of indices, we can make it faster where we take 5 and then 4 minus 2. Okay, can you see here? If the operation here is division, so you just take the indices and minus with the other indices. Okay, so 4 minus 2 equals 2 to the power of 2. Alright, so next question. Here we have the same base number. Alright, so here negative 3, right? So you just take negative 3 and then put it in bracket because it is a negative number. Alright, and then 4 here because it is division. So you need to minus each of the indices here so divide all right so minus here if there is no number here means it is one all right so one so the final answer here is negative three four minus two is two two minus one is one so one so as the final answer you you just need to write negative three let us look at question C. For question C, there is coefficient 25 and 5. Okay, to do this um, easily, so you just take this like this, x2, y3, and then divide by 5, xy. Alright, so, okay, you just simplify each, each other, 5, 1, 5, 5, right? And then this one, x, yeah, is 2 and 1, right? So, 2 minus 1. Okay, so, you just leave it 1, betul? Okay, 2 tolak 1, jadi 1 lah. Can okay, y, 3, so this one is 1, right? So, minus, leave it 2. So, the final answer here is 5x, 1, eh? 1, no need to write y squared. Can you understand that? Here is the final question for example 1. Take 12 divided by 4 is 3. 3 divided by 1 here means 3. Okay, so the final answer here is 3. Okay, M. Okay, you just take 10. And then, because this is divide, so you minus 5. And then, this is also division, so you minus another 2. So, the final answer is 3m, 10 minus 5 is 5, 5 minus 2 is 3. So, this is the final answer. I hope you can understand how to use the law of indices involving division of numbers in index form. Let us continue to example 2, which is like this. Okay, to do the question like this, you just need to 
simplify each other, right? For example, here, 9 and then 27 is 3, right? Okay, CFA lah, alright? We use CFA here, okay? So, you just, you can just, uh, okay, 4 minus 3, so 4 here, buang 3 ni and then tinggal 1, right? So, 2 sini, 3 sini, yang mana? Okay, so 2 minus 3, so tinggal 1, boleh? Alright, so the final answer is 3 A to the power of 1. So the power of 1, no need to do. So, okay, you just leave it uh, like this. And then B under, again. Okay, B to the power of 1. So also no need to write 1 as the index. So this is the final answer for this question. Okay. Or, to make sure you understand this, I want to show you another uh, another way to do it, which is 27 divided by 9, and then A, right, 4 minus 3, okay, and then B, 2 minus 3, right? So, the final answer here, the T and 3, so 3, A, A to the power of 1, and B, minus 1 okay uh, you will learn further about this index form which is negative index it's okay if they are negative here so it means that uh, b is placed uh, at the denominator okay dia letak di bawah lah okay kalau ada negative so the same lah kan cuma cikgu nak tunjuk je cara yang proper tu lah okay ini pun jika uh, if you use like this you just simplify each other it's okay. Betul juga. Alright. So, uh, let us look at a second question. Okay, how to do this? 6 times 2 minus 3. Uh, ini senang. You take the coefficient first. And then you take x, 3. Okay, ini darab eh. Okay, now we are combining uh, both multiplication and division alright so multiplication here so kamu perlu tam tambah tambah apa x ni bermaksud 1 kan so 1 y uh, x di bawah bermaksud kamu perlu menolakkan indeks kerana dia dibahagikan kan so 4 alright so y apa ok y is 6 ok 6 this one uh, because it is multiply so the um, the index must be added, yeah. Tambah lah add, nah. Okay, and then minus three because dia bahagi kan. Boleh faham? Okay, so the final answer here is dua uh, four. Okay, x. Okay, kuasa berapa tu? Tiga tambah satu empat empat tolong empat zero, eh? Alright. So, 6 plus 1, 7, 7 is y to the power of 4. So, the final answer here is 4y to the power of 4. Okay, let us look at how to do it another way. Okay, I, I erase here. Okay. Yeah, you just uh, cross or simplify. 3, 1, 2, okay. 2 times 2 is 4. Okay, this is the faster way lah. Right, so x4, right? So x3 minus, so there are 1 here. Okay, 1 here. Cross with this, okay. Dah dibagikan, nah, boleh jadi 0 lah. Tak ada dah x, okay. So y6 dengan y3. Kita buang y3, kita letak. Apa-apa? 6 tolak 3. Jadi 3, betul? 3. Plus 1. So, 3 berapa? Y to the power of 4. Okay. This step you can do if you have already um, master in this question. I think you can do it. Because it's just need to simplify each other. Okay. And then you must remember if uh, it is multiplication, you just add the indices. And if the operation is division you just minus the indices all right okay okay that's the second law of indices which is division of numbers in index form 
I hope that you can understand how to combine multiplication and division of numbers in index form well. Right? So we meet again to the next law of indices, which is power to the power. See you again in the next video. Assalamualaikum. Bye-bye.